Hi there. In this video, we'll be talking about directions of vectors, whether that's as an angle to north, south, east or west, or as a bearing or some other method. Now, let's have a quick look at an example which says a dog walks 90 metres north, then 52 metres east. Probably using a compass, I would imagine. Calculate the displacement of the dog. So, I'm not going to be answering this question using a, a scale diagram. I'll be doing this mathematically. So, first thing I would do is I would actually sketch what's going on. So, I would draw a line. doesn't need to be, as I said, drawn to scale, which represents that 90 metres north. And where that line ends, that's the first vector, I would then start the second one. That's what's known as adding vectors nose to tail. So if you notice where this one, the first vector north 90 meters, where that ends, I'm then starting the second vector. Now, this was the start point, that's the end point, and I would then draw what's called the resultant displacement from the start point to the end point, like so. There we go. Now, this is the start point, this is the end point, and as I said, this is the resultant displacement drawn, as you can see, with two arrows. The first two vectors, known as the components, they're actually just drawn with one single arrow. Now, you can also see that the resultant is 104 meters. How I actually work that out, and I wouldn't worry if this isn't making sense. Of course, there are other videos on vector addition, the point of this one is really just to express the direction of this resultant vector. How you'd work that out though is d would be equal to the square root of 90 squared plus 52 squared. It's basically this is just a right angle triangle and I'm using Pythagoras. So let's see if that 104 meters is correct. So I'll take the square root of 90 squared plus 52 squared and yes that's giving me 103.9422917 which of course rounds up to 104 meters as it says here. Now to work at the direction of that displacement what I would actually have to do is to work at this angle here. Now why it's the angle down at the bottom is because that's where I started the diagram. So if you imagine the dog at the start point before it started walking north and then east it was down here so the angle is basically between, I guess, this first vector and the resultant vector, this one here. So it's this angle here. Now, how I would work that out is, now, of course, I didn't write this, 104 meters. But how I would work at the angle is I know that the tan of the angle, tan of theta, is equal to, if you remember, Sokatoa. Tan is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So tan of the angle is equal to 52 over 90. So it must be that the angle theta is equal to tan to the minus 1, 52 over 90. And that is equal to shift tan 52 over 90. And make sure, of course, that your calculator is on degrees mode. And that gives a 30.01 836743 degrees. We're going to round that actually to 30 degrees. Now, somehow I have to put these two together. So I would actually say that D is equal to 104 meters. But what's the direction? That's the whole point, of course, of this video. Well, it's at 30 degrees. But I have to say 30 degrees to what? The first way, in fact, that I'm writing this is as an angle to north, south, east, west. In a minute or two, I'll show you how to express this as a bearing. Well, if you look at the diagram, I'm going to change that slightly. I'll keep that resultant there. And you'll see that the resultant is basically 30 degrees from north. So this is north here. And I'm coming from north. I'm moving towards the east. 30 degrees, in fact, towards the east. So I've come 30 degrees towards the east from north. And we write that as 30 degrees east of north. So as I said, we're coming from the north and moving towards the east by 30 degrees. This is this north here is where we're measuring from. But we're going towards the east from north. Now you can actually think east 
from north, but you still write east of north. That's one way of expressing this direction. I could also say, and it is a choice, that D is equal to 104 metres at a bearing of. So, in order to express this as a bearing, we need to remember the following, that north is 0, 0, 0. Of course, bearings are always written as three numbers. So north is 0, 0, 0, east is 0, 9, 0, south, we can't actually see that, but that's 180, 180, and west is 270. So if we've measured 30 degrees from north, and north is 0, 0, 0, we have 0, 0, 0 plus 30, so that would be 104 metres at a bearing of 0, 3, 0. There we have it. As I said, whichever method you wish to use will be accepted. It is a choice. Increasingly, though, the SQA papers uh, have vectors, I guess, written as bearings. So just make sure that you do understand how to express this as a bearing. If I move this up, I'm going to show you another five vectors. And what I would like you to do is to write down, in fact, if you could write down in both forms what the direction of this vector is, and then I'll ask you to pause, actually, once I've shown you the example. Once you've written them down, I'll then get you to play again, and then you can just see if you're right. So this is the first one. There it is. Now, first of all, you can see that this is 38 degrees measured from east and going towards the north from east. Second of all, if you're expressing this as a bearing, of course, just remember that east is 0, 090. Zero. So that is going to help. Now, if I get you to pause just now and then play when you have the answer. So what I could say in this one is that A is equal to 38 degrees and I'm measuring from the east going towards the north. So that would be north of east but I could write it as a bearing so I could say or remember the east is 0, 090 zero. so that would be 0, 090 zero, and I'd be subtracting 38 so 0, 090 zero, type in 90 minus 38 is 52 now, why I subtracted is, of course, north is 0, 0, 0, east is 0, 9, 0. So, of course, this vector is somewhere in between 0, 0, 0 and 0, 9, 0. And it works as 52. So, I would say at a bearing of 0, 5, 2. There we have it. So, that's vector A. Here is vector B. Oh, in that. C and here's B now. So again, I'll give you the answer in a second, but pause the video now and then you'll get the answer. So vector B, I would say, is, here is east again, and I'm going east, or from east, I should say, from east, I'm going towards the south. So that would be 40 degrees south of east. As a bearing again, remember that east is 0, 9, 0, but this time it's going to be a greater angle because I'm coming around clockwise 40 degrees from east. So in that case I would be doing 90 plus 40 and as a bearing that gives me this. So I could say or a bearing of 1, 3, 0. There we have it. Now, vector C, we've seen that just a second ago. So, pause the video now. Vector C then is, south is here, and we're moving towards the west 37 degrees. So that would be 37 degrees west of south. Remember, the last thing that we write south is where we're measuring from. So we're measuring from south and we're going 37 degrees towards the west. So 37 degrees west of south. Remember, you can think from south, but right of south. 
as a bearing, south is 180. So it's going to be 180 and I'm adding on, because I'm coming around clockwise, I'm adding on 37. So let's see what that is. 180 plus 37 is 217. So I would say, or a bearing of 217. Next up, we have vector D. So again, I will give you the answer in a second, but if you pause the video now. So D, let's have a look at it. We're actually measuring from west, and from west we're coming towards the south. So that's going to be south of west. So that's going to be, in fact, 32 degrees south of west. Or, as a bearing, I would say as a bearing of... So remember, north is 000, zero, zero east 090, zero, south 180, west is 270. So because it's then coming anti-clockwise, I would have to take 270 and then subtract 32. So let's see what that is. 270 minus 32 is 238. There we go. Finally, we have vector E, which looks like so. I'll give you a second to work that out if you pause the video now. So vector E is, well, this is north and we're measuring from north, but coming towards the west from north. So we're coming west 43 degrees from north. So you would say the E is 43 degrees west of north. As a bearing, well, north we remember said was zero, 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 but if we're going all the way around, of course, we'd be approaching an angle of 360. So I could work out this as a bearing by taking 360 and subtracting 43, because it's not quite full circle. So that would give us a bearing of 317. So I would say a bearing of 317. And there we have it. Those are the examples where, of course, you would be expressing the direction to north, south, east, west, or as a bearing. What happens though, if I had a question like the one here, where we, we just don't know where north, south, east, or west are. Now, get a new piece of paper, move that there. This question, it's using the same values as the previous question. Remember the question about the dog. So it says a football is kicked by two players at the same time as shown in the diagram. Calculate the resultant force on the ball. Now, when you see these two forces, you'll recognize the magnitudes. So there's the football. It's being kicked in this direction, 90 newtons and in this direction, 52 newtons. Remember in the dog question, the dog walked 90 meters north, 52 meters east. In this question, we don't know where north is. We don't know where south is. We're completely lost. So all we know is that these two vectors are 90 degrees apart. One thing about this diagram, in fact, is that the two vectors that we're adding are not drawn nose to tail. So we will need to actually change that if I press this button, then it will redraw them nose to tail. So now where the first vector ends, the second vector starts. These are the two components, remember, drawn with a single arrow. And the resultant would be drawn from the starting point to the end point and with two arrows. Now, it should be no surprise that the resultant will be 104 newtons. Just as before with the dog question, it was 104 meters should also be no surprise that this is 30 degrees. Now, in this example, I can't write that the resultant force is 104 newtons at any degrees or 30 degrees, say from north, from south, from east or west, because I just don't know where north is. So where I'm measuring from is actually 
this 90 degrees force. So in this question, if I'm completely unaware of direction north, south, east or west, and I can't express this as a bearing, then I would say that the force F is equal to 104 newtons. And I know that that is at 30 degrees to the 90 newtons force. So there you have it. This is just what we do when we don't know where north, south, east or west are. If we do, then of course we have those two choices. We can write it as an angle to north, south, east or west, or remembering that north is 0, 0, 0, east is 0, 9, 0, south is 1, 8, 0, west is 2, 7, 0. We can express the direction as a bearing. Remembering, of course, that bearings have to be expressed as three numbers and you round that angle to the nearest degree. So hopefully this has been useful for you. If you'd like to see other videos like this, then of course just tell me in the comments section. But that's us for now.